Precious pricing. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Montgomery, Alabama and I'm visiting the Montgomery Zoo and included in the admission price is entry to the Man Museum which is right down the street. I just got my hat from the gift shop. Now if you're not familiar with my channel or you're even familiar with my channel I get a hat all the different places I go to helps protect my balding head and help support the establishment that I'm at. Also gives me chip souvenir. This hat was $25, which is roughly what most hats cost. So this is a mid-sized zoo. I got a wristband. That's how they keep track of the amount of people that are inside the property. They do have a sky ride and a train. I purchased my tickets for both of those. So I did get a map, I will show you that in a moment, and then we'll get started on seeing what we're going to see. Alright, so this is the paper map that I got, right at the front. I'm right here at the main entrance. So right past the main entrance, did you have wheelchair and stroller rentals? So this is the gift shop I just came out of where I got my hat. Right here at the main entrance. There are restroom locations directly next to that. All right, so from the main entrance, I took a right-hand turn. I'm starting off with the birds. I've got rhinoceros iguana. I do not see rhinoceros iguana. So he's probably inside his little house here. So I'll come back a little bit later. Hi, birdies. Hi, birdies. They're checking out something. I don't know what they're checking out. Just moved around the perimeter. Got military macaw. Military macaw because of his green coloring. I'm gonna go inside the flight area. Got a pond here with some ducks and turtles. Several other little birdies. So we got a guinea fowl over here. So, uh, the little birdies. We got some scarlet ibis. We got scarlet ibis. And the turtles are yellow bellied sliders. And yellow bellied sliders. Of course, the scarlet ibis. Now usually the white ibis you will see out in the wild, especially where I'm from, Florida, there are white ibis all over the place. But scarlet ibis is not something we see out in the wild in this area. Whereas the scarlet ibis are from the northern part of South America. And we got some high kith macaw. Pretty blue coloring. Now we got an Andean condor. He's all the way over on the left hand side. That is a big bird. Quite impressive. And there's a second Andean condor on the far right hand side. So these large birds have a ample size habitat for them. Another habitat here with more blue and gold macaw. Alright, so before the zoo gets too busy, I'm going to go for a ride on the train. The train rides are $3 a person. I got my ticket right at the front. But if you didn't, you can get it right here at this vending machine. Alright, here comes the train. Gonna be going on next. So I am on the train. We heading out momentarily. There we go. We 
leaving the station.
be surprised there's an alligator or two in there. Right, so face masks are only required at this zoo when you are inside buildings on the train ride I had my face mask on and when you cannot socially distance now it doesn't appear there's a lot of people here today at this particular zoo but I always have my face mask with me so when needed it will be on so that's your locations right by the train station I right, so showing you the map again I'm right around here so I saw the birds first, so now I'm going to finish South America, and then we'll move up to North America, and work our way around. Alright, we got squirrel monkeys, squirrelies, 
Squirrel monkeys right along the fence. Oh, there's another one up here on the little hammock part. He has playing with his tail. Right, Ring-tailed lemur. Right. I do enjoy the ring-tailed lemurs. Oh, oh, it's got an itch. Got an itch, buddy? He's eating something. All right, Komodo dragon. Well, I see a broom in here, so it looks like they're still cleaning up the habitat. So Komodo dragon is not yet out. So I'll check back a little bit later. Got a veiled chameleon. And right here on the bottom, and he camouflage very well. They're able to change coloration and mimic their surroundings. All right, we got some Chilean flamingo. Do you love seeing the flamingos? The Southern Screamer. These are the Southern Screamers. Some cool looking birds. There's various types of ducks enjoying the water. Got a group of ducks. Now these are wild ducks. Because you do not see bands around their feet. That signify that the zoo takes care of them. All right, capybara. Oh boy, there are lots of them in here. This is giant guinea pigs, basically. Oh, we got some common marmoset. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Get that long tail. Check this out, buddy. What's up, Fuzzy? How you doing? There's the second one. Climbing up. I see a pygmy hippo calf. So the habitat is currently being cleaned. So I will check back a little bit later. All right, golden lion tamarin. Hi, Fuzzy. Oh my gosh, they are, they're just so cute. The tamarins are just absolutely adorable. What's up, Fuzzy? All right, giant anteater. There's a giant anteater. He's got lots of ants to eat. It's very busy. It has a very nice size habitat. Lots of room to move around in. And then with the ant eater, we got maned wolf. So obviously, the wolfie and the ant eater get along. Another maned wolf right around the side. Yeah. All right, reptiles coming up. Gray rat snake, eastern box turtle. See the sneaky come out of the tree. About to plop down. He's just hanging on. I do not see the eastern box turtle. I do see a little lizard in here. I don't know if this is snake food or is this another random lizard in here. It's a mata mata turtle. Wow, that 
That's so cool looking. Very cool looking head. <laughs> Got smooth fronted Cayman. Got water to be in. Smooth fronted Cayman. That is awesome. Oh, green tree Speed. python. Speed. And poison dart frogs. I see one froggy. Just hip hopping up on the window. What? All right, reticulated python. Got two oh. of the albino persuasion. Just all piled on top of each other. Got those beautiful colorations. Ours was about that big too. Got a Salmon Island skink. And the skink is all the way up. Wanted in so well, took a minute to find him. But he's got a really nice sized tank. See the humidity in there is pretty good. Got Vietnamese mossy frog. Good view of them. I see crickets. Those are food for the frog. It says pancake tortoise. Alright, so I do not see the pancake tortoise. But I see several lizards in here. Lots of lizards. So I'm sure the pancake tortoise is in here. He's probably just behind the rocks. And it's going to be hard to see. A pancake tortoise is underneath this rock, squished down like a pancake. So if you happen to know what type of lizards these are, can you leave a description with a timestamp so we know which animal you are speaking about? Onulated tree boa. Oh, wow. Look at that. Got a natal green snake. Snakey snake. A little skinny little snake. Got a small wood and old. Wow. He is so cool looking. Got a golden pheasant. Wow. Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. Big long tail feathers. All right, Jaguar. Got an old black Jaguar up against the glass. And a more traditional looking Jaguar is up above. So as you can see, Jaguars can be all black. All right, African spurred tortoise. There's the African Spurred Tortoise, or Sakata Tortoise. I have one of these guys at home. He's just a little smaller than him. His name is Sheldon. I mentioned him in my videos in the past. And hopefully, Cory Bustard. Alright, so our bird I do not currently see. So I'll check back a little bit later. There we got Ocelot. Right, currently, Ocelot is not out. They do have access to their indoor habitat. Got Patagonian Cavi. Got several of them over here. Hanging out in the shade. Right, we got some pygmy hippopotamus. They are cute. Got the little baby. Of course, the baby's not so much smaller than the mother now. Very nice. Got a black-handed spider monkey. Came right up by the water.
So they're on an island. Looks like the ducks are enjoying the island also. Got lots of stuff to climb on. So you can see his tail. Got a really, really good view of the Andean condor from the path I was just on. Just how big these birds are. Alright, so showing you the map again. So I've completed South America. I'm going to move up to North America. See everything here and across to Africa and down to Asia and then finally Australia. So it'll give me a nice loop around. I'm going to get back towards the front. I'll go ahead and take the, the sky ride. Hopefully it's open at that time. So there is some signage around. You have to get a paper map from the front like I got because I don't see any stationary maps. Alright, the Cory Bustard has made an appearance. Just had to wait a little bit. Finally get to see him. Alright, welcome to North America. Guess we're all going to see this direction. Alright, bald eagle. Nothing says North America more like the bald eagle. The symbol of our country. It's a national bird. There's some beautiful birds, aren't you? Now, typically, bald eagles in zoos are injured and they're not able to live out in the wild. See, this one only has one wing. One here on the left. All right, so the river otter habitat is under renovation, so. I am sorry to say there'll be no river otters today. Now we got Canadian lynx. He's right underneath his little cave part, right by his door. Alright, cougar. Now some of these signs are really faded. And the cougar's up walking around. Cougar's got decent sized habitat. All right, got this habitat here. Some white tailed deer, North American elk, and American bison. Bison are up nice and close. Let's see the deer. I believe this is one of the elk. Looks like they're getting this habitat ready for a new animal. It's got a big horn sheep. All right, so for this other side of this habitat, I do not see the big horn sheep yet. So on my rewalk, hopefully the animals will be up moving around. Right, North American black bear. The black bear has a fantastic habitat. Black bear is right here. There we go. Taking a nap. Got an American alligator. There is the alligator. That's a good sized gator. 
come from the state of Florida, I see these guys all the time. It's a side view of the bear habitat. All right, welcome to Africa. All right, African lion. We're gonna take a cat nap. I see from behind the sky ride is running. All right, so I'm gonna head towards the Overlook Cafe. See if I can get myself a drink. This is the mini board. All right, well they do have a rudimentary map on the wall here, right by the cafe. So I'm right at the overlook right now. Saw the lions before I came up here. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the African realm. This is a male peacock. Got the beautiful feathers. All right, cheetah. The cheetah are right here in the back. I do see two of them. The other one's more hidden. So I'll stop by a little bit later, hopefully get a better look. See a sky ride. I'll be on this just a little bit later. All right, got the savanna area. I see some ostrich. Yeah, ostrich are right at close. How convenient. It's just a female ostrich. Got the greater kudu. The greater kudu. Pretty sure this is a male. Got several Canadian geese. There we go. Peacock showing off his feathers now. Can everybody look at me, look at me everybody. There's a pygmy hippopotamus over here also. Got Grant's zebra. The Grant zebra. You know why? And unfortunately, it's behind the scenes view of them. Yeah, but. Um, got Bontabak. There's the Bontabak. Got some Dama Gazelle. This is a Dama Gazelle. Got African Crown Crane. Got Marabou Stork. Got Egyptian Goose. And slender horn gazelle. <laughs> so I'm still looking for some of the other animals. I think I get another view further up the path. All right, Samang. Guys, just swinging around. Now there is a barrier up, keeping me from getting any closer. There's two of them. This is looking through the glass. Go on Looks like he's having fun. All right, chimpanzee. This is a chimpanzee habitat. And they're all around the back portion here by their evening enclosure. Looks like they can come and go as they please. And there's another one behind all this stuff. So I'm gonna hang out a little bit, see if I can get a good view of them. Alright, so I found one of the chimpanzees. I had to move around to the side of the habitat to get a view of this guy. Here we go. This is another vantage point. Got some storks. Mm 
I got a blue duker. There's the blue duker. Accidentally startled him getting up. Sorry, baby. I mean to scare you. All right, African elephant. That's the African elephant's habitat. The third elephant. Information about the elephants. Additional African elephant habitat here. Got a very nice view of this elephant.